Hi guys, in my last video I reviewed the Dell Venue 11 Pro 7000 series and in this video I wanted to take a little bit of time to review all the available first party accessories which would be the desktop dock, then we have a back cover here, some kind of smart cover, the keyboard cover and the keyboard dock with the additional battery. So I will talk about all these and of course the stylus to cover all the things. So let's damn it. I want to start off with the back cover as you can see here. It is a hard case back cover to protect the device from any scratches on the back. All you have to do is lay the device in, push, you will hear the click and it will be attached. This is all you have to do. It looks quite nice. All the ports are still available. This is pretty nice. Nothing is blocked, not even the microphones or anything like that. That is quite nice. As you can see, the back material is very smooth and it feels nice. It is more slippery than the default back though. And one thing I'm not the biggest fan, as you can maybe see here, it is a big, big fingerprint magnet, but at least it does provide a good protection for the back. The second thing I wanna now show off is the smart cover. All you have to do is align the device like this. And with the magnetic, as you will see, it will just attach. This is all you have to do. And then you have a protection for the display. And if you would have the device turned on, you would just open it and the device would turn on, which it isn't right now. And if you want to use it as a stand, as you can see here, no problems at all. If you want to use it in the different direction for like this, it does fit a little bit different. As you can see here, I expected it to have a little bit of more higher angle, but it is still a different angle if you want to use it. But I guess the most used one would will be this and this works not as nice if you don't do it properly, which I didn't because the way you have to do it is attach it in here and then it is secure. Nothing to really bother about or concern about. That was my mistake. Let's talk about the type cover right now. All you have to do is again with the magnets just hold up and it will snap as you can see here and it will also attach on the back with the magnets. This is quite nice because it also is a stand. You just have to put it in here and you will also feel the magnets attach and this does provide this angle. The angle itself is fixed. You can't really change anything but it is stable enough as you can see here. It will wobble a bit. This is something you just can't avoid but it is fine. Just do it like this. As for the keyboard itself, you don't have a lot of key travel. This is obvious because it's a very, as you can see here, thin cover. But otherwise, once you get a bit used to the smaller layout, it works quite nice. You have no backlight, which is a little bit of a bummer, but otherwise it is okay. The feedback, of course, isn't the best because it's quite a shallow keyboard. But if you want something really small and thin, this is quite nice. And one thing I really liked, if you have it like this, if you put this and then put it to the back. You can use it still as a tablet. This is not really an issue. And the good thing is once it is at about 90 degrees, because right now you could still type on it. And once you are at this position about that and flip it back, the, the keys won't work anymore. So you don't have to be concerned about hitting anything. You can still use it as a tablet. And if you just want to use it, just flip it up and then do the things again to have your stand and you have a kind of laptop it works quite nice it is not the best keyboard but still works quite nice the next accessory that i want to show you is the keyboard dock and it is not just my recommendation i would even dare to say it is a must have if you buy this tablet because if you plug it in now you see you have a ultrabook convertible which works really really nice not just good because it works well you have an additional battery that gives you about two to three hours of additional use i would say two two and a half definitely solid and that is great and if you check the keyboard here it is a really nice keyboard one thing that is maybe so good as you can see this is the maximum angle so you won't in some situations get the angle that you really want but therefore you get a really 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 nice keyboard Key travel is more than okay. There is not really any flex. Of course, if you hit harder, you will see there is flex, but with normal typing, I didn't notice any flex. The touchpad itself is a little bit small. It works quite nice. It is reliable, nothing to really complain about, but the highlight here still is the keyboard. Once you get used to the smaller layout, it is really nice to type on because the haptic feedback works really well. One bummer, not a deal breaker, 
is the missing backlight. I really wished for that because I like to type at night and so on and then it would be great. But typing, my whole review and so on, I did on this and it worked really, really great. And I can already tell you because it is also a stand and an additional battery and a keyboard with a touchpad and all this just makes it so much more versatile. And that's why I would say if I would get this tablet, I would definitely get this dock as well. One more accessory that I want to show you before I'm going to talk about the stylus would be the desktop dock, which is quite nice because all you have to do is put in your tablet, it will dock and then you have this position. It is also a fixed angle, but I think the angle works quite nice as you can see here. But now let's talk about the dock itself and take a look at all the ports we have. On the front we have USB 3.0, a headphone jack, here is the docking mechanism and a status LED that shows you off the device is on. Here we have the dock for the charging, so it is on on the power outlet. USB 3.0 again, 2, Ethernet, Gigabit Ethernet, HDMI and the display port. So if you want to use it as a desktop, all you have to do is plug it in and it will attach automatically and if all the things are attached, your devices and your monitor and so on, it will just turn on and you have a secondary screen and you have a desktop. It works really well, it works reliable and if you want to use your device as a desktop replacement or so more often, I would definitely recommend to get this because it is really made well. As you can see, this is metal and this is a little bit rubberized on the bottom and otherwise it is really nice soft touch plastic definitely makes a solid appearance and if you want something like that it is really a nice first party accessory but if i would have to choose to get one accessory and only one i still say definitely the keyboard dock because it gives you the most bang for your buck it gives you the most versatile value for this device the last item i want to show to round up this accessory review would be the digital stylus it has two buttons here one is for select and one is for the eraser but there's also one thing I think I wished for more resistance because I hit them way too often. But it's the usual Dell stylus. It works quite nice as you can see here. Also palm rejection works quite nice. Didn't really have any issues with the palm rejection as I did on the Dell Latitude. And also on the sides it works quite reliable. It is precise. Of course you can already see here why I'm reviewing devices and why I'm not an artist. Because you can see I draw like a pig. Even, no, I think pigs can draw better. But that's it for this. This was my review of all the accessories. And just to sum it up real quick, the pen I think is almost a must buy for a lot of people who just want the digital stylus because a lot of people want those stuff. Keyboard dock is a must have, definitely get it. It will enhance the device a lot because you will get stuff like the additional battery, a keyboard, even though not backlit and so on. This one works also quite nice, the type cover as a stand, as a keyboard, but it is not on the level and I just would pay a little bit more to get the better thing. Desktop dock, as I said, if you want to use it as a desktop, this is still a nice solution. Maybe not the cheapest one after all. And if you want to protect the back, it works, but I'm not sure if it's worth the money. I'm not really sure how much it costs. And then you have also the... Uh, the smart cover and I think those are bundled together I think they were in one package so if you buy the whole thing for about $30 or so it's definitely nice to have if you want something like that so that was my whole Dell Venue 11 Pro 7000 series coverage if you liked it please give me a thumbs up reshare this video subscribe to my channel and leave me any comments you want okay until next time bye